Let's take the derivative of a moderately complicated function. I'm going to make one up. So can you. And that's a great way to generate examples. Um, so I'm going to start by writing a function f. Um, and I'm working off the top of my head here. So um, let's start by um, putting a polynomial on the outside level. How about we go um, sine of x over um, e to the 5 sine of x out there. Let's take this whole thing um, and square it. So I've got sine squared of um, x over e to the 5 sine x. Um, and now let's divide that thing by, oh, say, tangent of x. Um, I don't know what I've just done to myself as far as the complexity of this thing, but we're going to deal with it. Um, OK. <clears throat> So we need to figure out how to approach this function here. Um, and I think the right thing to do is to stand back and look at it and be like, well, what is it? What is the what is the fun and what is the fundamental building block of this function? I see this divided by a line right here. I've got something over something. Okay. So I've got something over something. I'm gonna draw that line in another color to highlight that I've got something over something. So we're gonna be hitting the quotient rule on on that thing right there. Um, that's definitely at a minimum. Um, what we're going to be doing. So um, let's just jump right in and see what happens. So let's go f prime is equal to um, low tangent of x um, d high. Okay, now, now we're going to get to the craziness on this top part here. We need to take the derivative of the top part. Um, and this is um, some crazy uh, chain of functions. We've got composition. Um, at the outer level, I've got this square right here. So how about I emphasize that fact um, by going like that? Now we're um, I'm, I'm generally an outside in person, so I've got the something squared. Um, so um, so the derivative of something squared is um, two times that thing to the one power. So two times sine of x over e to the five sine x. Um, to the and then that's to the one power and now I have to chain out the next level so now I'm going to take the derivative of the sine part because it's squared um, times cosine of x over e to the five sine x um, I am so going to roll off screen on that that's absolutely fine this line continues to the next line right here times all right, so it's spilling over to the next line right here, so times. So I did my sine, so now I'm going to pull out the derivative of the inside, and I've got a quotient. So inside that quotient, I'm going to go um, e to the, so low d high, e to the 5 sine x, d high is 1, minus high, x, d low, e to the 5 sine x, draw a line, and square below, e to the 10 sine of x. Um, okay, so that was low d high minus, so that was the derivative of this thing right here. Um, and the next thing would be doing x's, but I'm done. Now yep, we reached the bottom of that. So that's good. So that's, um, okay, so that was low d high. So this paren here, let me match my parens with this orange color. So that paren is that paren. So that's low d high minus high sine of x over e to the 5 sine x squared. That's time. So this line continues on to the next line. I need a really wide chalkboard to be able to draw this numerator all in one. Um, so now I need the derivative of tangent. Let's do a little side work. Tangent equals um, sine over cosine. I remember that one. Um, so the derivative of tangent, we've got to use the quotient rule on. Um, so this is going to be times um, low cosine um, of uh, x d high is sine x, uh, nope, low d high, sorry, I didn't take the derivative. 
low D high, minus high, D low is cosine, nope, the derivative of cosine is minus sine, the derivative of cosine is minus sine, the derivative of cosine is minus sine. There's my minus sine, so I incorporated the, sine, um, the, um, the minus from the minus sine into that right there to flip it. Um, draw a line and square below, cosine squared of x. Okay, so low, d high is this crazy thing, minus high, d low is this thing right here. Draw a line. There we go. So that horizontal line is that horizontal line. Draw a line and square below, um, and then tangent squared of x. Why is that in orange? I don't know. I'm going to leave it in orange. Um, okay. So that was kind of a crazy one. If I had really wide paper, I could deal with it. There is one simplification um, that I want to make right now, which is that we've got cosine squared plus sine squared. And cosine squared plus sine squared is that magic number one. So I can replace that numerator with a one um, and make that a bit make that a bit simpler. Um, anyways, uh, I think that's about that as far as that derivative. I don't know how much simplification we can really do here. I, there's like no common factors upstairs. This thing's just kind of a general nightmare. Um, but, uh, get that out of my face. Um, yeah, it's a derivative um, of some crazy complicated thing. And um, you should totally, uh, you should totally make up functions and take their derivatives. Um, What's well, a good way to check your work? Um, well, you can um, do it by paper, and then you could evaluate it at some place, and then you could check what the slip of the tangent line is at some place using your favorite computer, um, and check that they're the same. Um, that's a decent way. Hey, I'm going to say that was a good problem. Thanks for watching this complicated derivative, and I'll see you later. Bye.